Hi there, everybody. Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I'm uh, taking a walk, at least a brief one, without Snickers. And as I'm doing this, last time I was here along the property, there was leaves all over the place. But as you see behind me, there's no leaves, and that's because he has cleaned them up. Uh, that is not Snickers, but Todd, our supervisor for our maintenance, and uh, I saw him doing that today, and I'm very thankful for it. It looks much better. During the season, we think about those people who have passed on. We have the names of them on our banners in the sanctuary, but we also have a book of remembrance. And I hope you're able to put some folks' names in there that you know, your family who passed before you. We hear in the scriptures, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. I wish that was true for all of us. I wish that was true for me most of the time. It's, Sometimes I'm, I struggle in my faith. I think we all do at some point, and I think that's okay. But we need to be mindful. And that's why we go to church, to remind ourselves that this is what God desires for us, that he desires that we would thirst for him. It's built into us to be desirous for him, because all things that are good, all things that are true and virtuous are things from God. And that's what, that's what attracts us. That's why they're attractive, because they have something be it art or sport or whatever it is be, that imitates something about God. Does our soul, do we recognize this? When we do these things, does our soul recognize that God is in charge, that it is through him that we are enjoying all these wonderful things of life, right? Well, this life is not permanent, and so we can enjoy those things in a way that is not overdone, where they don't become an idol, but actually can help us give praise to God. Praise to our Lord Jesus, who's given us all that we have. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. If we were all in that space constantly, how things would be different. We have a lot of problems in our world, right? We have a lot of difficulties. There's a lot of violence, a lot of division. And we need to be people that can join together people to be in communion. Not disunity, but communion. And how do we do that? Well, if our hearts are thirsting for our Lord, if they, if they are, these things are still sad when they happen, that is, violence and wars, but we're not overcome by them. That is, God is in charge. God has us in the palm of his hand, and he desires good for us. We all leave this world at some time, and this is actually all preparation for that time. So when you encounter things that are difficult, or when I encounter things that are difficult, the news, uh, bad news, health issues, it's important for us to remember that God has got this, that he desires that we would be with him. He desires that we would let him in to those difficult times. Because by ourselves, by ourselves, it's pretty tough. And it's impossible, really, to deal with all these things. But as we then... Let God in. As we hear from what Deacon Brett said last week, to make God, our Lord Jesus, the heart of the matter. That is, instead of just praying about him or talking about him, to then have an actual conversation with him, to pray to him, to worship him, to show him our love. And that is more important than anything because a thousand years from now, we're not going to be asked if we knew how to do the quadratic equation or if we could do trigonometry or calculus, or if we could build a building or any of these other things. He's going to ask us what we hear in the scriptures this weekend. Do I know you? Do you know me? A lot of people say, Lord, Lord, we hear in the scriptures, but will not go to heaven. Uh, it's not my decision to judge that, but the scriptures to this coming weekend are a challenge for me to think about, am I ready? I don't know when the end will be for me, but am I ready to uh, be audited by the Lord? Um, 
I hope so. I think it's St. Alphonsus Liguri who said, and he was asked when he was uh, lounging, you could say, with his confreres in his community, someone asked, in effect, if you knew that the Lord was coming at the end of this day, what would you do different? His response was basically, I would do the same thing I'm doing now. Well, that seems strange. Why, why don't you do something, right? I'd think, well, and he goes on to say, because I'm doing what I am called to do. We are to be recreating right now. It's not that he doesn't love God, but he's been practicing and serving people in the name of God. And even his lounging is a way that he praises God by relaxing and thanking God for that opportunity. I can't say that I'm an Alphonsus Liguri. I can't say that that would be me who um, can say that I, I have stuff I have to take care of. I am not perfect. I'm a sinner. And I, pr I hope and I pray that I'm always thinking that my soul thirsts for my Lord, my God. But other things become attractive. The latest game, football game, the latest technology, the, uh, the news, bad news. And all these things uh, can, can try to suck me in. And I gotta, I gotta reject that. I gotta stay firm in my dedication. I need to, that's why I go to mass. I mean, obviously I'm the priest, yeah. But uh, I've been asked questions like, you know, so uh, why do you go to Mass? Well, we don't go to Mass because we're holy. We go to Mass because we're broken. And I find it comical that the Lord has asked me to be his priest because I'm broken. But ultimately, I need a Savior. I need Jesus in my life because on my own, I can't do it. He sends me people like you, the parishioners and other people, family and friends, who help remind me or challenge me, and I certainly appreciate that. But we will have an end day. You and I are not meant for this world forever. The question is going to be, what are we doing about it? This is kind of a preparation for this weekend, so think about it. If you were asked if this is the last day, and the Lord was coming, or you were not going to survive this day, that was the end, what would you do different? I hope we could all say the same thing as uh, Alphonsus Liguri and say, I do nothing different because I'm already close to the Lord. Now, if you can't say that, and I would be one of those, I'm in need of help, then this is our chance. This is our time to be thinking about what we can be doing to help others, to express our faith to others, to pray and to love our Lord Jesus. Because in the, in the uh, final details, it's all about him anyway. Folks, I'll see you this weekend. I'll be preaching, and I hope, actually, please pray for me as I prepare, and I look forward to seeing you then. God bless you. Bye.